Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in Cognizant interview. The candidate had 2.5 years of experience working as a Java developer and apart from Java, he was having knowledge about Spring Boot and REST APIs as well. When the candidate solved the problem, the candidate was offered a CTC of 8.5 LPA. Okay, now let me explain you what was the problem statement and how the candidate solved it. Okay, so the problem statement was he was asked to write a Java program to create a singleton class. Now let me explain you what is the singleton class. So singleton class is a class that can have only one instance or object of your class at one time. Okay, so and this singleton pattern is used to ensure that the class will have only one instance and it provides a global access point to that instance. Now let me show you how to implement this by writing the code. So here you can see I have written a class. This is a singleton class and I'm going to make this class as a singleton class. To make this singleton class, I need to ensure that there will be a variable which will be of type this singleton class. Then there will be a constructor which will be a private constructor because I don't want this class to be accessed from outside of this class and create objects by using constructor. That's the reason I'm going to make the class as a private and then I will provide a static method which will be used to return the instance of this class. Okay, so let's start writing the code. So here I'm going to declare a variable of type private static singleton class private static singleton class and I'm going to name the variable as an instance. So here I'm making that variable as a private because this variable should not be accessed outside this class. I'm going to make it as a static because I am going to access this inside a static method which will be used to return the instance of this singleton class. Next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to make constructor as a private so that the object of this class cannot be created outside this class. So for that I'm going to use private singleton class constructor. Now, next thing what I need to do is I need to create a method and that method should return the instance of this class. Okay, so here I need to write a method public static, then singleton class. This method will return a singleton class object. That's the reason I'm going to uh, write a return type as a singleton class and I will give the name of that method as get instance. This method will return the instance of this singleton class. Now, in this method, I will check whether the instance is already exist or not. If the instance doesn't exist, then I will return. I will create a new instance and I will return it. If the instance is already exist, then I will return the instance which is already created. Now, here I will check whether the instance is created or not by writing a condition as instance if the instance is equal equal to Null. So if the instance is null, that means the instance is not created. So I need to create the instance and then send or return it back to this. Here I'm going to check or I'm going to ensure that in multi-threading environment, there will be only one thread who will create or who can create the instance at a time. Okay. So here I'm going to use synchronized block and inside that block, I'm going to check I am going to ensure that only one thread can create the instance at a time. So for that, I am going to write synchronized and this synchronized will have singleton class and this block will check again if the instance is created or not. If the instance is created, then it will return the instance. If the instance is not created, then again it is going to create the instance and send it back. So this approach is called as a double checked locking pattern, which is used to reduce the use of synchronization block in case of multi-threaded environment. So here again, I'm going to check if the instance, if the instance is equal equal to null. If the instance is not created, then I need to create that instance and return it. So here instance is equal to new singleton class. So here I'm creating the instance and then I need to return the instance. So I'm going to write a return statement that will return the created instance of this class. Okay, now I have written this code. Now let me explain you what we did. So we created a private variable of type singleton class. 
okay then we declared that class constructor as a private because i don't want to create the object by using new keyword with constructor and then we declared a method that will return the instance of the class so here we use synchronized block to make sure that these multi in multi-threaded environment there will be only one thread that can create the instance at a time Okay, that approach is called as double checked locking pattern. And this is used to reduce the use of synchronization block in case of multi threaded environment. Now, let me test this. So, for that, I have written a class test singleton, and inside that, I have written a main method, which is going to be starting point for our program execution. Now, inside this main method, I'm going to create multiple instances of the singleton class, and I will check if all the instances are same or not if the instances are same then i'm going to say that this is a singleton class or singleton instance to create the instance let me write singleton class and i will write it as a singleton class one equal to here i'm going to use get instance method that will be used to get the instance of this singleton class so we got the first instance similarly i will create another instance singleton class equal to singleton class 2 and I will write it as a singleton class dot get instance. So here I will get another instance of this class. Now I need to check if both instances are same or not. For that I am going to use equal equal operator. So if singleton class is equal equal to singleton class 1 is equal equal to singleton class 2. If both instances are same that means that class is a singleton class. Right, so here I will simply print that if says out both instances are same. So both objects are same. Else, I'm going to say that both objects are different. So here I will write both objects are different. Okay, so what we did, we created a singleton class object by using get instance method because if I try to create a singleton object by using single uh, new keyword, I won't be able to do it because we have a class constructor as a private and that constructor is not accessible, uh, that constructor is not accessible outside this class. That is the reason we made it as a private so that no one else should be able to create the object by using constructor. So here we have created these two instances by using get instance method. And then we are going to check whether these two instances are same or not. If both instances are same, that means we have created a singleton class and these objects are the singleton instances. Okay, now let me run this code and show you how it works. So here you can see both objects are same. That means both objects point to the same class or same instance and this class is a singleton class okay so that's it from this video thank you bye bye